Hello everyone. Our names are Jessica Schwertflieger and Björn Kula from the Research Institute for Farm Animal Biology in Dornsdorf. Together with scientists from the Helmholtz Center Munich, we aim to identify hemp volatile organic compounds accounting for mitigating enteric methane emissions from rumen. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas and livestock farming is the biggest contributor to these methane emissions. More than 90% originate from digestive processes of plants and ruminants, predominantly cattle and dairy cows. Recently, an essential oil extract from cannabis sativa has been identified to diminish methane formation in vitro. This effect was assigned to various volatile organic compounds, VOX. We asked the question if supplementation of a diet with hemp leaves reduce methane formation in dairy cows, and if so, which hemp volatile organic compounds account for this antimethanogenic effect. To approach this aim, a total of 12 cows from the FBN herd were fed a basal diet, which was supplemented for the experiment with either hemp or soya to meet isoenergetic and isoneutrogenous conditions. Diets were fed in a crossover design, and at the end of each period, cows were transferred into a respiration chamber. Within a chamber, individual feed intake, milk yield, body weight and methane production were measured. Feed supplements were sampled and ruminal fluid was gained by oral tubing and samples were sent to the laboratory in Munich. Plant material and rumen fluid were analyzed for VOX by heating the samples at 15 degrees Celsius. VOX were captured in the headspace and subjected to GCMS analysis. As a result, we found that the VOX profile of hemp leaves and soya beans and their respective rumen fluids clearly differed from each other. On the other hand, there was an overlap between VOX from hemp leaves and from rumen fluid of cows fed hemp leaves. Overlaps included typical sesquiterpenes. We are currently evaluating the data by various statistical approaches and aim to publish the outcome soon. At this stage, we gratefully thank Professor Schnitzler and his team and the DPPN.